Hi everyone, Mark Chess here. Welcome to the channel. And for today's video, I'll be giving you my initial impression of the Jason Tatum 1 in the St. Louis colorway. Let's go. First up, I would like to thank Jordan Brand for sending this over and letting me try out this pair. Thank you, big thanks to MJ, of course. I know we're close. Feeling close, eh, no? But kidding aside, this is the St. Louis colorway and this white and blue colorway actually gives a very North Carolina vibe to it because of this baby blue all around. But it is actually a St. Louis Cardinal colorway, which is a kind of coincidence, a good coincidence comparing it to North Carolina, of course, where MJ is from. But this one gives homage to Jason Tatum's background or where he grew up and of course so there's a little easter egg here this is the archer avenue which is deuce's favorite area in st louis of course deuce is the son of jason tato so first up let's talk about the materials used on the st louis colorway it's actually kind of the same materials that was used in the first black and red colorway this has like the a different pattern of the flight weave but this is a lot softer in my opinion compared to the more fuse on the Jordan 37 and 36. I'm not mad about it. It's very comfortable. It's still very breathable like the fly weave or the flight weave rather on the 37 and 36 but this one has a bit more give but actually I think it's just that I got a US 11. They sent this over to me. I didn't have the chance to try it out but I think I would fit on a US 10.5. So half size down for me because I'm a regular footer. So I think for wide footers, you should go true to size. So the flight weave goes from the forefoot to nearly the back part of the sneaker. And of course, there's some plastic here for durability and additional support to the sneaker. While in the medial side is a leather. I think this is just synthetic leather, but this also gives extra support and durability to the middle side of the Tatum ones. While on the lateral side, you can see this foam that looks like um, mountains. And it actually is a dual purpose. It's for aesthetics at the same time for lateral support. And it really kind of pulls your foot back to the footbed and, and it doesn't let your feet slide off the sneaker, even though this was a little bit roomy for me but this really held me down and so imagine if I got a 10.5 I think it will really fit me well on this one and of course a little disclaimer this is an XDR or the PF release I have the XDR tag right over there so this is the XDR tag the extra durable rubber tag so usually this comes in the PF release and what a lot of people are saying that the PF release or the Asia release has a wider last. So take that into consideration. I don't know if on the state side in the uh, Europe, I don't think it's um, PF version. So watch out for that if you're copying a St. Louis colorway of the Tatum one. At the back has some more leather, this white panel. And the Jordan or the Jumpman logo is Stitch, which I like. Uh, gladly they didn't just print it over because I think it will just uh, disappear over time if it's just printed but this one is stitch which is really good and of course around the tongue 
is the JT logo, which is also Stitch, and the tongue of the Tatum one while I was playing with it. I'm actually playing right now um, around, it started 10.30 in the morning and it's really hot here in the Philippines. So this sneaker actually is very well ventilated. It didn't feel that warm around my foot. Like I've said, the flight weave is very breathable. It's very well ventilated. Plus the tongue is nicely perforated. I think it's really ideal for this type of weather, summer weather, especially here in the Philippines. And as for the heel part, there's enough Achilles pillows. Rather, it's not too thick, but still very comfortable, which is okay. And I just wish that the tongue was a little bit longer because when I tied it to the last lace loop, um, it kind of was slipping down a bit and it was sticking and my tongue was doing like this at the first time, but I have it fixed. Um, so I just really pulled the tongue out a bit more so that the laces won't get stuck around the tongue. So this is a mid-low sneaker, so it's not too low. It's just uh, like what I really like. I really like a mid-low sneaker. I don't want a high top. I like low tops, but a mid-low is also preferable, especially if you want more ankle protection. And I have been using this for almost one and a half hour to really sweat off the jet lag that I have. I just flew in last night, kind of getting some sweat right now because I have a game tomorrow and getting my groove back. I've been away for almost three weeks. Imagine that I've been playing with this for one and a half hours. I've been running up and down the floor in this court and doing some drills, doing some shooting and some lateral and dribbling um, mechanics around this floor. And actually the wooden floor right now is not too clean. Uh, the maintenance uh, is scheduled to clean it um, late this afternoon before the reservations of this court comes in. So it's pretty dusty right now, but I was quite surprised with the traction. Excuse the dog right over there if you're hearing that because I think it's asking for food. So the traction, let's talk about the traction first. I was kind of iffy at first because I've watched the other reviews by the other shoe reviewer that they reviewed the black and red and no one has reviewed this yet. Uh, as far as I know, I'll be the first one to review this. And since this has XDR rubber, I don't know if that is a factor because even though the floor here is really dusty, I was sticking really, really nicely and I didn't wipe at all during that one and a half because I was really trying to test out the traction. If it will, if I will slip over time after several minutes, but surprisingly, it's really sticking nicely, especially the four foot part and dust pickup is not too shabby too. You can see just a little bit of dust particles here on the forefoot because a lot of shoe reviewers I think they mentioned that after playing with them on a dusty floor they slip and the grip wasn't that good but it's a different story for me so I was kind of surprised there because I was literally waiting for it or waiting for me to slip because I was trying to be cautious at first because I might slip Surprisingly, no, even the rubber part of this one, it's pretty clean, although I don't stop on the heel part, but the forefoot part was really impressive on a dusty floor. So if you have an XDR version, let me know if you have played with them and if you have the same experience with me that it was gripping really nicely on dusty floors. So hit me a comment down below. So. For the traction of this one, the PF version, I would say pretty good. So I'll just continue playing with them. I'll give you an update. I'll be playing with them again tomorrow in the league game and have a practice after that. So I'll be giving an update on the Tatum 1's traction soon. Another highlight of the Tatum 1 that I was really impressed with too is because, like I've said, watch other shoe reviewers about the Tatum one and the cushion they weren't too impressed but I have a different take on that mainly because I was expecting the forefoot to be dead 
And surprisingly, I kind of like the feeling of the zoom unit in the forefoot of this, although it is thin, but it has a big surface area. And even though it is thin, I was close to the ground, but I was feeling the bounce of it really, really nicely. Uh, I could, if I could compare it to another sneaker, I would compare it to the Kyrie 6, which I really like. That implementation of zoom unit there in the Kyrie, even though that was a zoom turbo, it was thin, but I like the bounciness of it and it was really low to the ground. And that's, I think, one of my favorite Kyries because comparing it with the 7 and 8s or the Infinities rather, it felt more alive compared to the 7 and 8s zoom turbo unit in the forefoot. And it gave me that same feeling here on the Tatum once. So I felt bouncy at the same time, low to the ground. But if you want impact protection, I would say go somewhere else because it, you are really close to the ground with the Tatum ones and I'm playing on a wooden floor. So the, even though this is really thin, it's really good on wooden floor, especially with the bounce of this. But if you want impact protection, I would look for something else. But if you are someone who likes to play low to the ground and with shifty, who's pretty light too, and impact protection is minimal on your requirement, the Tatum one's really nice. Or, But there's an option if you want to use the Tatum ones, you can switch off the insole and use a different insole which has more foam in it and I think that could work. I would try that and I would let you know I will try it with the Move insole with this one and try it with the All Day or the Move Game which is not the Pro. I'll give you an update on that too. But for me, the cushion of this one is surprisingly good. I, what I really love about the Tatum One's cushion setup is it gave me the bounce at the same time I felt very balanced when I was planting my foot for a jump shot and when I was doing side steps because I usually do that a lot in my movement so so I got my balance really quick on the Tatum ones and as you can see the forefoot is wide also for balance and it's and it's pretty flat around the ball of your foot and there's a nice curve on the forefoot when you're running up and down the floor and there's a nice curve here too but and as for a heel cushion I would say it's just ample uh, if you're looking for impact protection, like I said, especially on the heel, this foam is made out of, I think, just EVA foam or Phylon from Jordan and Nike. So it's just enough, but like I've said, it's really low to the ground. So the traction and the cushion on the Tatum one was really quite a surprise for me because I was really expecting something else. It gave me a very nice feeling for my initial wear on the Tatum once. And as for outdoor use, I would say it's not that ideal because of course the traction on the heel is made out of foam. It doesn't have that rubber. So this could wear out really quickly on outdoor courts. And of course, the, like I said, the cushion is really low to the ground. So I don't think it's really forgiving for outdoor courts, but you may, you can switch insole, but I wouldn't recommend it that much. Even though this is an XDR rubber outsole. And as for the insole, it comes with a very ordinary insole from Jordan and Nike. So nothing surprising about that. And I was really also impressed with the support system that they used. This blue part that comes up here and the mid part is really hollow. I was expecting my arch to hurt over time, but it didn't give me that hollow feeling when I was stepping on it. So quite surprised there too. And there's a nice heel counter here for stability too, when you're doing your lateral cuts. Of course, um, Jason Tatum used to wear a lot of Kobe's and a lot of Kobe's has this. So I think that's why it's implemented here. And one more reason why I think I really felt the zoom unit here is of course this is uncaged and it really allowed it to expand. I don't know if because I'm more of a heftier guard player. I'm not the lightest player right now. I'm accepting that. So I really felt when I'm really having some force around my forefoot, I really feel the zoom bag in the forefoot of the Tatum ones. 
And so for the sizing of the Tatum ones, I would say if you're a regular foot, go half a size down and white wares go true to size because that's what happened recently on my Jordan basketball sneakers, like on the Westbrook. I went also half a size down, so I should have requested a, I should have requested a half size down on these because I listened to a lot of reviewers to go true to size and I didn't factor out that they might be using a non PF version, so a different last maybe. For if you're getting the XDR version, you can go half a size down because like on the LeBron next, um, I went to two size two. So a bigger size on the Jordan PF version if you're getting the Tatum ones. For the price of the Tatum ones, St. Louis colorway, it's the same price, 6875 or that's about 140 So that's about 130 US dollars. So not that bad, especially for the first signature sneaker. Usually, first signature sneaker is a little bit cheaper. So I would expect the two will be higher by five bucks or around or around 250 pesos here in the Philippines. So that's usually the trend on signature sneakers. They usually, the prices usually goes up on the succeeding numbers. So this has been my initial review of the St. Louis Tatum ones. I actually summarize it. I am actually enjoying it surprisingly. So I'll give you an update on this, on the full performance review. If anything changes and I'll try it with a different insole for all of you who are looking for more impact protection. So this has been Mark Chess once again. Thank you for dropping by this channel. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.